to provide um, our students with a rich experience at Richland College. If that includes ducks, turtles, fish, uh, we have skunks running around that we'd like to catch, by the way. Uh, we've had other wildlife around campus, and the geese are just part of that. Uh, having been at Richland for a long time, uh, when we have more farmland around, uh, we get ducks all the time. We had geese dropped off. Uh, we had everything you think of dropped off out here at one time. So we tried to be friend, friends with the little creatures and the, uh, the waterfowl uh, that it comes to Richland. Um, and uh, uh, we, we embrace them. We treat them. We try to provide a habitat for them. Uh, and everything's fine as long as they stay in the water around the lake and the students stay up around the buildings. We usually don't have any trouble. Uh, but the Canadian geese have been a different challenge. Probably about four years ago, the first pair showed up. Uh, and then it was about two years ago that we, uh, uh, they started nesting on top of the old planetarium. And then our challenges began. They protect that area. Uh, if, if you've been out there and you heard them honking or, or ch if they've chased you in some way, uh, they really mean it. They want you to stay away from the nest. Federal law says they are protected. We can't move them. We can't mess with them. Uh, we cannot go up and try to move the nest from the top of the planetarium out away from uh, uh, this general population, uh, we're pretty much have our hands tied at this point. Very shortly those eggs will hatch uh, and then they'll move out to the water and that will be that until, uh, until next uh, March. Then we'll start all over again.